hello guys welcome back to my channel today i have come with another informatic informative video in this video we will discuss the method of finding immediate settlement of a shallow foundation after this video you can easily find immediate settlement of a shallow foundation if you watch my video it's in the the link of the video is in description i have uh, told that there are four types of foundation so a shallow foundation is one of them in case of shallow foundation the definition of shallow foundation is the foundation whose width is less than or equal to depth of foundation let me repeat again for you the shallow foundation is that foundation whose width is less than or equal to depth of foundation so in this video uh, i have shared a example which will help you to calculate immediate settlement of a foundation so let's start here you can see i have found uh, made a diagram this diagram shows the soil type the area which is covered with foundation this and the depth of foundation is 5 feet okay so the dimension of foundation is b is the width of foundation so width what is the b b will be from here to here this is a b r okay and l is the length of foundation so dead load of building is equal to 100000 pound so how to calculate this dead load of a building this i have also explained in my uh, previous video i will also put the link of this video in the description you can check that and uh, through uh, that video you can learn the procedure of finding dead load of building so in this case dead load of building is given and some other properties of a soil are also given in this data so what is pi pi is the plastic index it is equal to 40 ocr over consolidated ratio is equal to 2 this is a unit weight of soil this is equal to 120 ppf and saturation 1000 psf so soil type is also explained here unsaturated clay is the unsaturated clay so with this data we will start our procedure to calculate immediate settlement of a foundation so step number 1 we need to we need to calculate weight of excavated soil so how we can, how we can uh, calculate weight of excavated soil unit weight of soil multiply length of foundation width of foundation and height here height is the depth of foundation so unit weight is given in the data this is 120 ppf multiply 5 what is 5 5 is the depth of foundation 50 is the width of foundation and 100 is the length of foundation so weight of excavated soil is equal to 300000 pound so what step 2 is now we calculate net load net load is the 800000 this 800000 is dead load of building and we subtract 300000 it will be equal to 500000 pound so this is a net load now step 3 is 
we will calculate contact pressure contact pressure formula net load over area what is the net load 500000 is the net load so we divide it with the area of foundation 50 multiply 100 so it will be equal to 100 1000 psf so in step 4 we will find the ratio of l over b and h over b here in this case l over b is equal to 2 h over b is equal to 1 why we need uh, we find this uh, we find this ratio because we will use this ratio in a figure to find coefficient u naught and u1 we will calculate the value of u1 from this graph here you can see on right side of this graph is l over b and at the bottom is h over b so with linear interpretation we will calculate the value of u1 so here in this case a uh, question or in this example l over b is equal to 2 so this is 2 okay and h over b is 1 so we move like this until one arrived at x axis so the value at this location here we move to left side the value here will be equal to u1 u1 comes out to be equal 0.98 because above this it's a 1 so below it it's 0.98 Step number 6 is we will calculate undrained modulus of clay. The formula of undrained modulus of clay is E is equal to K into SU. So, uh, what uh, K is the coefficient value? I will show you how we can find this K value. This is a chart. In this chart, we have our consolidation ratio on x axis and this y axis is the value of k in our case our pi is 40 so it uh, lies in this region so according to uh, uh, graphical manipulation uh, the value will be equal to 2 ocr is given in the data so we move upward here and this go to y axis so over K value is 400. Now we will put the value of K in the formula. 400 multiply 1000. 1000 is given in the data. So E value is equal to 400,000. Now this is a formula which will help us to find immediate settlement. You can see in this formula we have U0 and U1. We find this value from graph. Q, Q is the net load which comes dead load minus excavated weight of soil, B is the width, P is the undrained modulus, 1 minus U, here U is the poisonous ratio, so only poisonous ratio left, so let's see how we can find poisonous ratio to complete this formula after poisonous ratio we have all the values so we put all the values in this formula then the final result is the immediate settlement of the foundation here you can see a table one column is type of file other is the poisonous ratio you need to remember this table so in our case the soil type is clay and is unsaturated so its value vary between 0.1 to 0.3 you can find you can take 0.1 or you can also use 0.3 if depend upon you the answer the answer will not affect more because it is a given value so uh, from this value we, if our formula values are complete in this figure as you can see I have made a curve Actually, our so, uh, clay has elasticity, so 
so when we put our foundation load here let me make the foundation as you can see both the edges of foundation lies above of this curve but the center curve is below this shows that uh, edges face less immediate settlement as compared to center so we need to calculate also separate settlement for the center area edge area and this edge area i can make i will make another video for this thank you if you like my if you like this video please comment like and subscribe